it's my hope today that we can kind of break down a comprehensive transthoracic echocardiogram to manageable pieces. There's a lot involved. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'd like to cover is the standard windows. There are really four standard transducer positions that we use in transthoracic echocardiography. The parasternal, the apical, subcostal, and suprasternal. The sonographer may sit at the right or left side of the patient and scan with either the right or the left hand. Digital acquisition standards should be a three-beat clip. This gives us an adequate representation of anatomy and physiology. Longer clips may be acquired as needed, especially in patients with irregular rhythms like atrial fibrillation or in cases of pericardial disease and Doppler. The measurement standard should be if a patient is in normal sinus rhythm, we should measure three cycles and average them. If a patient is in atrial fibrillation or an irregular rhythm, measure at least five cycles and average those measurements. Let's start with the parasternal window. The hash mark on the transducer is on the left, and you can see we have a nice view of the left ventricle by rotating 90 degrees in a clockwise fashion and tilting a little superiorly, we can have the short axis view at the level of the aortic valve. By moving slightly inferiorly, we're actually moving into the left ventricle. This is the short axis view at the level of the mitral valve. By either angling or sliding down a little further toward the apex, we then see the left ventricular short axis view at the level of the papillary muscles. And by sliding even a little further out, we have a very nice view of the very apex of the heart, or the short axis view at the apical level. For more information on other programs in the tutorials in echocardiography series, as well as other educational series, please visit our website or email us at the information shown on the screen. Thank you for joining us.